Yo, what's up everyone? How's it going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Lego Fortnite crashing, freezing and not launching issues on your Windows computer. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is very simple, just restart your computer. You'd be surprised how many times this resolves problems with games not working correctly and especially not launching. So just restart your PC, try and launch Fortnite and see if that resolves the problem. Now if it didn't, the next thing that you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, go to update and security, and just ensure you've got the latest updates installed for Windows. So as you can see there, I've got an optional quality update available, so I'd need to download and install that. So once you've updated Windows, that then brings us on to the next thing, which is to update your graphics card. Now if you don't know what graphics card you have in your system, then you can find it out by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to device manager and then expand display adapters and you will then see your graphics card there. So as you can see I've got an AMD Radeon RX 6750 XT. So I'd need to go to AMD's website and download the latest driver. Now I will pop some links in the description below on how you can update your graphics card driver if you're not too sure on how to do this. And also if you download a program that I created called Easy Game Utility, you can actually go straight to the manufacturer's website by clicking on the graphics tab and then just clicking next to your graphics card, you can see it's detected it there, and then click in driver download. So that's pretty straightforward. Now once you've updated your graphics card driver, the next thing that you need to do is download Easy Game Utility. The link is in the description below and this program is created by myself so if you do purchase the pro version then I will thank you now for supporting the program. So what we need to do is click on the clean tab. So you can see a few different options here. We're looking for this option here that says clear Epic Games launch cache. Go ahead and click on clean and then OK. The next thing that we need to do is just close that down. We now need to click onto the graphics tab option here and then we need to click on clean next to AMD cache files. That's because I've got an AMD graphics card. If you've got an Nvidia, then click on clean next to Nvidia and click on OK and then do the same for DirectX. Next, you need to click on network and we're now going to click on clean next to DNS cache files and we're then finally going to go to the fix tab. So go ahead now and launch Fortnite and see if that resolved the problems that you're having with it crashing because you've updated Windows, you've updated your graphics card driver, we've cleared a load of cache files. So hopefully that would have resolved the problems. If it didn't, there is a button here that I've created called Attempt Fix. So this button is going to run through a few different methods and hopefully resolve the crashing problems that you're having with the game. So just simply click on Attempt Fix. Once it's finished, it will then attempt to launch Fortnite. If it does fail to launch Fortnite, then you can launch it manually. It's already done everything that it needed to do. So hopefully that will resolve the problems that you have with the game. If it didn't, then we can now close down Easy Game Utility. We're done with that. And the next thing that we need to do is right click on the start menu icon and then go to settings. You now need to go to gaming. And you're then going to want to ensure that the game bar is turned off and then go to captures and you now want to also ensure background recording is off, recording audio is off and then go to game mode and try toggling this to off. Go ahead again and launch into game and see if that resolved the issues. If that didn't then we now need to go ahead and open up the start menu and type in power and then plan. We are looking for this option here that says choose a power plan. Go ahead and select that and you then want to select the high performance power plan option. So you might have noticed there that I've got an ultimate performance power plan. You can actually use Easy Game Utility to activate that. But anyway, I'm not going to go through that on this video. So we've got high performance there. Select that option and then launch the game again. So hopefully Fortnite will be working now on your PC. If the game is still not working, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the Epic Games Launcher. So I will actually add now, I will be doing a FPS boosting or performance, whatever you want to call it, video for Fortnite. So if you're interested in checking out that video, then click on the subscribe button below. So we now need to find Fortnite, so go to your library 
and then find the game within your games list. So mine's actually typically currently doing a update. But what you need to do is click on the three dots for Fortnite and you then need to, actually I will do it on a different game, I'll do it on this one. So click on the three dots and then go to manage. And you're then going to want to click on this option here that says verify files. So go ahead and click on verify and then the Epic Games Launcher will check if any files have become missing, corrupted or just got any problems. And once it's finished, go ahead and launch Fortnite and hopefully that would have fixed the issues you're having. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said earlier on in the video, if you do purchase the pro version of Easy Game Utility that's created by me, then thank you very much. If you do want to see more videos, click the subscribe button. And if this video helped you out and you enjoyed it, click the like button.